we are launching Deeper Bullhouse new vlog as part of our own global uh, technology research. And I'm going to be delighted to start with our inaugural vlog around our Tech Trends report that we have just released. So over to Alec Daphner in the San Francisco office to kick it off. Thanks, Per. For the 10th year running, we're publishing our annual Top 10 Technology Predictions Report. Uh, we've identified the top 10 predictions that we believe will shape the technology industry in 2017 and years to come. We will see more $10 billion companies emerge from Europe. Last year we saw Supercell become the first decacorn. We're now seeing the latest cohort of unicorns have a revenue of north of $300 million and lots of them doing aggressive acquisitions to really push their valuations higher. We're expecting Spotify when they file for their IPO and people like Market really have a shot at pushing that $10 billion mark. Thank you. The next technology trend uh, has to do with the tech IPO market, which we expect to get back to business in 2017. Uh, there was a lack of technology IPOs in the first half of 2016, uh, partly due to uh, the public market volatility that we saw. We saw nine uh, technology IPOs in the US in the third quarter. Most of those are trading significantly above their IPO prices. And the pipeline for technology IPOs in 2017 is picking up, uh, most notably Snap Inc., which is supposed to be pricing a deal in the first quarter, uh, targeting a $25 billion valuation. We also anticipate an offering from Spotify at some point in 2017. For 2017, we expect continued consolidation in the software as a service arena. We see a massive amount of successful startups proliferating in Europe and in US but we also see the leading consolidators moving in and building full stack offerings and we expect this to be a strong trend throughout 2017. WeChat has nearly 88% of its 806 million monthly active users located in China. Whilst this has enabled them to monetize their platforms quicker than Western competitors, they have neglected investments in innovation and products to allow for global expansion. As a result, They've been actively acquiring Western tech companies to strengthen their international position. This is shown by Tencent's $8.6 billion acquisition of Finland-based Supercell. We expect Asian platforms to continue to acquire competitively valued European tech companies to achieve Western expansion. We see peer-to-peer -peer lending, one of the largest fintech verticals, going through a phase of consolidation this year as larger peer-to-peer -peer players look to acquire smaller, higher quality competitors as a way to increase their retail investor base and a way to broaden their industry verticals. Our next tech prediction is the increased adoption of autonomous cars. We see this as a long-term growth trend. The self-driving car is no longer a sci-fi fantasy. By 2035, more than 12 million fully autonomous cars will be sold every year as the industry grows to $77 billion. We believe that 2017 will be incredibly important for manufacturers and advocates of the technology to prove reliability and safety. Unprecedented levels of investment are expected in the sector this year. Trend four, the new content reality. So we've seen significant progress with augmented reality over the last year. And although consumer adoption is two to three years behind VR, we predict AR hardware will be a much bigger market over the longer term, and we expect to see some major product launches in 2017. What remains to be seen is if the content developers can keep pace with the rapid progression of the hardware capability. Esports is one of the fastest growing entertainment and on the path to becoming a billion dollar industry. The growth has been primarily driven by the strong interest from the media and sponsors and an increasing number of gaming enthusiasts. 
Millennials represent about 50% of the 250 million esports fans and are helping to grow the ecosystem. Our next trend is cord cutting and the contest for content. So this trend is being driven primarily by the millennial generation who are leaving behind the one size fits all model that traditional cable operators present of consuming television and video content. A number of OTT or over the top players as they're known have uh, come to market in the past few years. Folks like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and Sky uh, to name a few and uh, have vast libraries of content and allowing consumers really to consume on an ad hoc basis. Uh, pricing has become very competitive. We expect this trend to continue in 2017. While many companies struggle to find practical application of the artificial intelligence, the tech giants that understand the potentials are devoting a lot of capital and resources to develop the tech. In 2016, there has been more than 40 different acquisitions led by Google, Apple, Microsoft, and Intel, each acquiring companies with distinguished AI technology to fill in their gaps within their tech stack. Although artificial intelligence in an early stage, we expect to see a lot more consumer and enterprise applications in 2017.